morning it is now two days later since i was last in suchaiva yesterday i was on a bukovina painted monasteries tour and there will be a video separately on that so today i am going home but first I need to go and see the suchaiva citadel or fort as it's known it's not very nice here today it's foggy I'm not sure if you can see there's no rain though so that's good I'm actually flying home today, flying back to Manchester around 1pm, so I've had three days here in Suchava. My flight here was £46 from Manchester return. My parking in Manchester airport cost me more for three days than it did for the flight. So Ryanair do operate a lot of flights into and out of Romania but in March, this route is being disbanded due to the low level of people traveling on this route. On the flight out here, there's only 80 people on a plane of 160, 70 odd. But I have checked in this morning and my flight on the way home is full. So yeah, I'm gonna head over now. There's a church again. Head over to the Citadel. No idea what it's like. Is it going to be open? It's a Sunday morning here. Who knows? Head to the Citadel, have a walk around, head back to the hotel, pack up my bag, check out. Let's go. I know it's hard to believe, but behind that McDonald's should be the Citadel on a hill. Um, it's very foggy here today. It might not even be there for all I know. Who, who knows? We have to fight. We have to wait and see, won't we? I guess. Everyone, look, to be fair, whenever I get my GoPro out, people just stare at me. When I was in Dubai through the old old town, walking through the mall, everyone stares at you. Like I don't care anymore. Like me having the camera out doesn't phase me now. But when I first started fil filming myself. I used to hate it, people looking, but, oh well. Some ruins are in front of us, some broken down walls, and I'm going to tell you what ruins they are now. So they are... The ruins, Curti Domesti. There you go. Some nice ruins for you in a misty, foggy Suchaiva. And there's a church for you again. <clears throat> so, because the airport's so small here in Suchaiva, the need to get to the airport hours before is really small. Um, normally, if you fly from the UK, they recommend two and a half hours to get there, but here it's an hour. I, on the way in, I came through security within five minutes. There was one conveyor belt checking for um, one conveyor belt for your bags. Two people on the passport control checking your passports. <clears throat> so, 20 to 9 now. My flight's at 1. So, now before 12 ish, half 11. Takes half an hour to get there, so 11. So I've got just over two hours now to be able to go up to the Citadel, just pot around for a bit. Just down the bottom of this road, there should be a Basilica St. George, which is like Basilica of St. George or Monastery of St. George. Actually, I can see it there now in the fog. Now, whether this is going to look any different to the Romanian Orthodox churches we've already seen in Romania, the Sva, that will be decided in one minute when we look at it. Mm, looks similar. So I need to pass this church, turn right, and then there should be a set of steps leading up to the fortress or citadel. Biserica San George. So 
I'm not sure if you can hear, but there's actually a um, ceremony going on inside there. You can hear them singing and praying. Right, I've only got 12 minutes left on this SD card, so I need to stop waffling, get to the sister's L, show you what's there, because I haven't got a spare SD card with me. Well, I do, but it's in the room, so my fault, really. <coughs> Right then, so here are the steps. I'm guessing they go down and then up. Very soggy down here and wet. Look like little chalets there. Something you expect to find in a holiday park. What is that? Is that a well? Oh, my shoes are going to get so muddy. I brought my drone with me again today, but I doubt that I'll be going up. I won't be able to see f all with this fog. Whatever them stone circle things are, there's one in there as well. And there's one over there. Right, there's the steps we need, and this is what we've got to navigate through. There's these stone circle things everywhere. I wonder if there's something to do with drainage. Who's next to this river channel? Look at them steps, man. Whew. I'm here now, anyway. So this is it. This is the fort area. There's restaurants, cafes, gift shops, big parking space. Behind me is the fort, but you'll never guess what. It's not open for another hour. It opens on t at 10 a.m. It's currently 9 a.m. So, what do I do? Do I hang on for an hour? Probably not. Water fountain. Do you want some hydration? So this is the fort. Like I said, it's very foggy here today, so you can't see much of the city. But down there is the city in that direction. There's a picture of Stefan the Great. So if you ever want to come down, so it's a Chava Fortress. The ticket is 16 Romanian lei per ticket, which is around three pound. So Stephen was a, Stephen the Great was a ruler of Romania of Moldavia at the time and he was the one who built a few of the painted monasteries that we went to yesterday so if you can see that white line along the castle walls my guy told me yesterday that that line is the original wall and everything above it has been rebuilt to try and mimic what it was like now I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing The uh, Suchaba Fort. I can't see anything else unless I wait an hour. But then, I'm only going to have an hour before I have to get back down to my hotel, leave my room, check out, and get to the airport, which I don't think is doable. So, the purpose of this video is to find the fort. We found the fort. Right, that's it for the fortress. I'm heading off. One thing I still need to do is buy a fridge magnet and that shop is opening there and they've got magnets outside so I'll go and buy one I think Looks like a nice restaurant serving skull and tubog Bukovina Village Museum Oh look at a little guard dog there that barks at you if you walk close to the gate um, so this is a traditional 
village from the Bukovina region in northeastern Romania. So inside there's all different artifacts and how they would live and how they would um, work. Obviously it would be good to go in but time is of the essence right now and there's six minutes left of this SD card. I said I wasn't going to waffle but here I am waffling again. So to get in here is eight lei, which is around one pound fifty. And that opens at nine. So I could have gone in there for half an hour. But would you want to see half an hour worth of old buildings? That seems to be what my channel's about though, so maybe I should have gotten in there. So we've gone on a different path on the way back, and in front of me is a statue of Stefan the Grey on the back of a horse. So I approached the man at the top up there who was had a little shop selling uh, magnets and like small gifts and he was setting up at the time and I said hello open he looked at me blankly hello um are you closed and he looked at me blankly so I just walked away perhaps I should have googled how to say open in Romanian but anyway I walked away without a magnet and now my fridge is going to be very upset when I get home. I haven't got a gift for it. So hopefully there's a gift shop in the airport. Because you can't go to a new country without getting a magnet. Or can you? Who knows? Rusty metal stairs. And every so often my foot just gives way underneath it. It's like dodgy, man. And that church over there ringing its bells is where we were earlier. These are the stairs to get back down. And that path from the statue brings us back out by the McDonald's at the bottom of the city centre. Look at that little puppy. Is that a stray dog? <laughs> okay, so this is what's known as the China shop. Now, I've been in a few China shops in the, like places like the Canary Islands, and they've always got gifts in there, magnets. Come on, let's try and get a magnet, shall we? Right then, bad news, no fridge magnets from the China shop. So, plan is, hotel, have a coffee, have a little sit down, pack the bag, check out, go to the airport, find a duty free shop, if they have one in the airport, I'm sure they do, but is it going to be good enough for one? I don't know. Get to the airport, fly home, yes, job's done, see you later. So I'm back at the hotel now, just picked up a can of Coke Zero on the way, and I'm actually still in time for breakfast, so if I really wanted to, I could go and have seconds, but I can't be bothered. Oh look, there's a church again. Two weeks ago, uh, one week, one full week. No so the taxi driver just said that uh, planes are not landing because of the fog. How am I going to get home? This is the airport. This is it. So here, six checking desks, one small entrance for security. That's your shop in the corner over there. Um, yeah, it's a pretty small airport, busy though. And this foggy outside, look at that fog. So if I fly is a good question. At this point, there have been three or four cancelled or delayed flights. 
and all the passengers are waiting in this small departures lounge. So at this point I don't know whether I'm going to be flying or not. Luckily there was an outdoor smoking area where I could stand and get some fresh air. Well I found some magnets anyway, in amongst the chaos of the airport. Up until now I'd had no information on my flight, but checking flight radar I could see that the flight that I was supposed to be getting on looked to be diverting away from Suchaba airport. It just so happened that I then did turn back in to fly into Suchaba, and this is what I thought was it flying into the airport. I was however sold the dream and you can see what happens now. Yes, that's right, that is the sound of my plane flying straight over us. And as you can see, it starts to loop the loops a bit north of the airport. I carry on tracking the plane, and this time it's coming round again. And fingers crossed it lands, but we'll see, shall we? Right, so what a disaster. Obviously heavy fog here in Suchaba Airport. The taxi driver was showing me the flights that were just going around in circles. I flight radared my flight. It circled round three times, tried to land, it went straight past, circled round again and it's finally landed. Here we go. So yes, eventually, and there's a Wizz Air just landed as well. So I thought I was going to get some compensation off Ryan Air, but it doesn't look like I will. And just for the record, when I said on the way in that the airport was really good now because it was so small, so quick, what a fucking nightmare when there's four, three or four flights waiting to go in a room that's what, 50 square metres? Woo! Right then, see you on the other side. Landed back in Manchester Terminal 3 and that is the quickest time I've ever got through security. Straight to the front of the queue, straight through the automatic E-gate. Job done, now to drive home.